degradation of solid land. Soil erosion and land degradation. Rapid increase in human population has placed a great strain on the land and soil. Resources resulting in land degradation and soil erosion. Agents like air, wind and water erode the soil. Soil is the uppermost layer of the Earth's crust, which can be dug or plowed, and in which plants grow. Land is a solid substratum which supports human and many other organisms. On a worldwide basis more than 4.85 billion acres 1.96 billion hectares or 17% of the earth under vegetation has been degraded by humans to various extent. Pace of soil erosion. Soil erosion in nature may be a slow process or geological erosion or be a fast process promoted by deforestation, floods, tornadoes or other human activities. These two processes are explained below. A geological erosion. Geological erosion geoearth is a slow process that continues relatively unnoticed and has been occurring for millions of years. The first phase of this soil forming process is called weathering which is a physical chemical process that leads to the breakdown of rocks by wind and water into small fragments and formation of soil particles. Be accelerated speeded up erosion. Accelerated soil erosion occurs when the protective vegetation cover is destroyed. This may occur due to natural causes like flooding or due to human activities. One of the main human activity responsible for accelerated soil erosion is cultivation of land. Land under cultivation is more vulnerable to natural agencies like wind and water. Human activities accelerate removal of surface soil by wind and slash or water at a faster rate. The rate and extent of accelerated soil erosion is much higher as compared to natural geological soil. Erosion Types of soil erosion Soil erosion is classified on the basis of the physical agent responsible for erosion. The various types of soil erosion are consequently referred to as water erosion, wind erosion, or water erosion. Running water is one of the main agents, which carries away soil particles. Soil erosion by water occurs by means of raindrops, waves or ice. Soil erosion by water is termed differently according to the intensity and nature of erosion. I raindrop erosion, two sheet erosion, three rill erosion, four steam banks erosion, the erosion due to landslides, six coastal erosion, I raindrop erosion, raindrops falling on land surface cause detachment of the Soil particles. The loose soil particles are washed away by flowing water. Raindrops thus initiate water erosion. An average size of raindrop is approximately 5 mm in diameter falling through the air hits the soil at a velocity of 32 km slash hour. Larger raindrops and gusts of wind hit the soil surface even at higher velocities. Raindrops behave like tiny bombs when falling on exposed soil, displace soil particles and destroy soil structure. Presence of vegetation on land prevents raindrops from falling directly on the soil thus erosion of soil in areas covered by vegetation is prevented. With continued rainfall the displaced soil particles fill in the spaces between soil particles and so prevent water form seeping into the soil. 
After some time this result in accumulation of water called ponding on the land. This water begins to flow. This flowing water is called runf and is muddy due to the displaced soil particles in it. As the water moves in further erodes the soil surface. Similarly, the melting snowdrops cause soil erosion. 2. Sheet erosion The detachment and transportation of soil particles by flowing rain water is called sheet or wash-off erosion. This is very slow process and often remain not noticed. 3. Rill erosion in rill erosion finger-like rills appear on the cultivated land after it has undergone sheet erosion. These rills are usually smoothened out every year while forming. Each year the rills slowly increase in number become wider and deeper. When rills increase in size they are called gullies. Ravines are deep gullies. Four stream bank erosion. The erosion of soil from the bank shores of the streams or rivers due to the flowing water is called bank erosion. In certain areas where river changes its course, the river banks get eroded at a rapid rate. Stream bank erosion damages the adjoining agricultural lands, highways, and bridges. V landslide. Sudden mass movement of soil is called landslide. Landslides occur due to instability or loss of balance of land mass with respect to gravity. Loss in balance occurred mainly due to excessive water or moisture in the earth mass. Gravity acts on such an unstable land mass and causes the large chunks of surface materials such as soil and rocks slide down rapidly. 6. Coastal Erosion Coastal erosion of soil occurs along seashores. It is caused by the wave action of the sea and the inward movement of the sea into the land. Consequences of Soil Erosion 1. The fine particles of the top soil which contain the bulk of nutrients and organic matter needed by the plants are lost from soil erosion. Erosion removes the most fertile part of soil. The less fertile subsoil is left. 2. Erosion may result in removal of seeds or seedlings so that the soil becomes bare. Bare soil is more vulnerable to erosion both by wind and water. 3. Removal of seeds and seedlings reduces the ability of soil to store water. 4. Sheet, rill, gully and stream bank erosion also cause siltation of rivers, streams and fields. Deposition of silt results in damage of crops and pastures and sedimentation of water bodies like streams, dams, reservoirs etc. 5. Sedimentation of water bodies deteriorate water quality and damage aquatic habitats and organisms. 6. Gull erosion also results in loss of large volumes of soil. Wider deep gullies sometimes reach 30 meters and thus severely limit land use. 7. Large gullies disrupt normal farm operation. 8. Stream bank erosion not only causes loss of land, but also changes the course of a river or stream. 9. Stream banks erosion also damage public roads. 10. Mass movement of land or landslides also inhibits farm production and land use. 11. It also causes mortality in animals and humans. 12. Coastal erosion causes the adjoining land to become covered by sand. Prevention of soil erosion. 1. 
It is essential to retain vegetation cover that soil is not exposed to rain. Vegetation cover is important because roots of plants hold soil particles together. Plants intercept rainfall and protect soil from direct impact of raindrops. 2. Cattle grazing should be controlled. 3. Crop rotation and keeping the land fallow not planting anything in the soil for some time should be adopted. 4. Vegetation and soil management should be improved in order to increase soil organic matter. 5. To prevent stream bank erosion runoff water should be stored in the catchment for as possible by maintaining vegetation cover and as by constructing dams for storing water. 6. For prevention or reduction of coastal erosion, protective vegetation along the beaches should be re-established. The best method of controlling coastal dune erosion is not to disturb the dunes and the coastal system. Further, construction of buildings and other developments should be located behind the dune system. Soil erosion by wind. Soil erosion by wind is more common in areas where the natural vegetation has been destroyed. Such conditions occur mainly in arid and dry areas along the sandy shores of oceans, lakes and rivers. The loose soil particles are blown and transported from wind by following three ways. By siltation blown by wind in a series of short bounces. Two suspension transported over long distances in the form of suspended particles. 3. Surface creep transported at ground level by high-velocity winds. Consequences of wind erosion 1. Wind erosion removes the finer soil material including organic matter, clay and slit, in a suspension colloidal form and leaving behind coarser, less fertile material. See once again. 2. Productive capacity of the soil is lost as most of the plant nutrients which remain. Attached smaller colloidal soil fraction are lost. 3. Wind erosion also damages roads and fertile agricultural fields by depositing large quantities of air-blown soil particles. Remedial strategies for prevention of soil erosion. 1. The vegetation cover over sandy soils should be kept above 30%. Access of wind to the soil should be controlled by leaving the stubble or mulch on the soil. Stubble is the remains of crop left after harvesting. 2. Wind speed can be broken or controlled by planting trees in form of a shelter belt. 3. The practice of leaving the land fallow that is not planting anything in the field in use. And machinery should be modified. This can be done by using direct drilling techniques plowing the field and by using direct drilling techniques. 4. Overgrazing by cattle should be avoided. Soil erosion caused by human activities. Certain human activities accelerate soil erosion, deforestation, farming, mining, developmental work, human settlements and transport, soil erosion, deforestation. Deforestation includes cutting and felling of trees, Removal of forest litter. Browsing and trampling by livestock, forest fires, also leads to cause deforestation etc. Deforestation leads to erosion. Deforestation further leads to land degradation, nutrient and the disruption of the delicate soil-plant relationship. Soil erosion farming.
Agriculture is a major human activity that causes soil erosion. Crops are grown, harvested, land replaffed, exposed to wind and rain intermittently. All this prevents replenishment of moisture. Agriculture also causes the worst type of soil erosion on farmland in the form of wash-off or sheet erosion. On the arid and semi-arid areas, sand blows and sand shifts act in a similar fashion as sheet erosion does, where water is the chief agent. Consequently, a creeping effect of desertification sets in and the fertility of the land is lost progressively. Accelerated Soil Erosion 1. Tilling or Plowing Tilling or plowing increases the chances of erosion because it disturbs the natural soil surface and protective vegetation. 2. Continuous Cropping Continuous cropping of the same land and extending of cultivation of marginal and submarginal lands encourages soil erosion. 3. Cultivation on mountain slopes. Cultivation on mountain slopes without appropriate land treatment measures such as bounding, terracing and trenching cause soil erosion and loss of soil nutrients. Four. Monoculture. Monoculture refers to the practice of planting of the same variety of crop in the field. Monoculture practices can lead to soil erosion in three ways. A monoculture crop is harvested all at one time, which leaves the entire fields bare exposing it to both water and wind. 2. Without vegetation natural rainfall is not retained by the soil and flows rapidly over the surface rather than into the ground. It also carries away the topsoil which results in soil erosion and degradation. 3. In the event any disease or pest invades the field, the entire crop is usually wiped out leaving the bare soil susceptible to water and wind. 5. Overgrazing. It means too many animals are allowed to feed on a piece of grassland. Trampling and grazing by cattle destroys the vegetation of the area. In the absence of adequate vegetative cover the land becomes highly susceptible to both wind and water erosion. 6. Economic activities. Soil erosion also occurs due to economic activities. The extraction of useful natural resources such as metals, minerals and fossil fuels, etc., from the land causes serious disturbance to the land leading to soil erosion and drastic changes in the landscape. 7. Developmental activities. Soil erosion may also occur because of various developmental activities such as housing, transport, communication, recreation, etc. Building construction also promotes soil erosion because accelerated soil erosion takes place during construction of houses, roads, rail tracks etc. The construction of such facilities causes massive disturbance to land, resulting in soil erosion and disruption of natural drainage system.